Probably one of the leaders in the field is Alberto Bardelli. So he's from Turin. He's um, pioneered this whole field of colorectal cancer evolution, specifically evolution or resistance to um, cetuximab, EGFR, epidermal growth factor receptor, monoclonal antibodies in the clinical setting. Um, and he's been saying for a long time that resistance to targeted therapies is a fait accompli. Um, and indeed, he's absolutely right. Um, by virtue of the burden of cancer cells that an individual patient has, matched with the capacity for diversity from cell to cell, resistance is pre-programmed. It's already there by the time a clinician is offering a patient a drug. And he will be showing some key data, both published and unpublished, that allude to that very process, just how complex the evolution of resistance is within a single patient um, in the clinical setting. Um, and I think that will throw really light upon this whole field and where we should go next in terms of possibly combination therapies, possibly immunotherapy and what have you. Um, in addition, we've got the sort of basic science end led by Thierry Vogt and Eric Sahai talking about single cell cancer genomics and tumor stromal interactions. Um, that's a very sort of core part of evolution. As you know, cancer cells don't evolve in a vacuum. They evolve surrounded by the stroma, surrounded by you know, the milieu of the patient. And drug therapy and exposure to you know, natural selective pressures that the, the tumor has to cope with. Um, and Eric Sahai will be leading a whole session on, on the tumor and the stromal interactions that, 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 that constrain tumor evolution over time. Thierry Vogt will be talking about single cell cancer genomics. Why single cells? Well, if you go from Alberto's clinical observations that resistance is predestined in, in small populations of cells, we really do need to understand cancer at the single cell level. And he will be presenting data about new single cell te technologies that enable us to um, sequence single cells at an unprecedented resolution and hosting a whole session around that very subject. We've got a very major focus this year on cancer immunology. Um, Adrian Hayday will be hosting a whole um, uh, major session on, on that very subject um, about developments um, in both the biology of, of cancer immunology all the way through to the clinic, um, led by speakers such as James Larkin and others, but latest developments with um, immune checkpoint inhibitors that no doubt you've covered in your, in your um, videos over the last year. Um, We've got a plenary speaker this year, Sergio Casada, who started off as a postdoc in Jim Allison's lab and was one of the pioneers of CTLA-4 antibody therapy and melanoma. We'll be talking about his latest work in this field. It's hugely exciting, um, lots going on in this area. Um, and uh, watch this space carefully, I would say, because that's going to be a great plenary. Um, in addition, we have um, health economics in cancer, which we've briefly discussed, this whole issue around um, cost of drug therapy. Um, and we have a, a, a major session and plenaries around genomics medicine and, and precision oncology more specifically. So we have Fabrice Andre who will be giving a, a plenary on um, the um, aspects of guiding and stratifying patients through clinical trials in breast cancer and the problems and the pitfalls and the costs associated with this process. He'll be talking about his experience of Safir 1 where they screened 500 patients. Uh, they recruited Short, just short of 100 into trials and I think had responses of you know less than 10 patients and we'll be talking about you know how difficult it is to find that key population that will respond to the drugs that we have on offer in the clinic but when we find those drugs we know those drugs work very well.